Hey guys, back again. Uh, long time no see, I guess. Uh, back to do a little uh, overview and kind of an instructable, just to show you this uh, loft bed that I made. So I haven't been around in a while. I, uh, I've been doing some other stuff, work, and doing school, so I haven't been able to find a lot of time to make these videos. Um, I guess I could... Sorry. <sighs> Had to take a drink. I feel like I'm getting sick. Anyways, um, yeah, it was... I just didn't have time to do it. Uh, no more fish tank, as you can see over here. This is where it normally sat. Not my pianos over here. Um, kind of cleaned up my room a little bit. Uh, there's the piano. Used to be a fish tank right here. You could see my videos for that. Uh, just too much money. Uh, I'm a poor college kid that gets paid minimum wage, so I can't really afford to do that. Uh, I gotta pay rent. But anyways, this is how I decided to save some space in my room. I was inspired by some photos on Google and some videos on YouTube, but unfortunately the videos didn't really tell you how to make them. They were just kind of uh, showing off the beds, but here we go. I only got eight minutes left to show you how to do this, so uh, as you can see, I got a queen size bed up there. Uh, lots of room. I actually messed up the, the template and ended up with a little bit extra space. The bed was actually supposed to be running lengthwise, but that way it didn't have a lot of support. This is just an extra sheet for if I want to make it like a clubhouse. As you can see, we got 2x10s here, here, and here. They're just uh, drilled in. If I had the bed running... Uh, had to tow this way, I would have had a lot of uh, slack in these spots, and I figured since it was long enough this way, just put it there and I'll deal with the space right here. Uh, put this back up. So you saw that these were uh, just 2 by 10s on top, and then one 2 by 4 in here. And that's just running all the way across the uh, the box that it's sitting on is uh, two by sixes just this one's six foot long or actually my mistake this one's seven I believe and this one here that's running across is six uh, you would have to measure your your bed to uh, figure out how how big you, you need it. Uh, this side has just two supporting beams. Uh, two two by fours, one here and one down here. If you could see my hand running across. These posts here are the main support. They're uh, four by four fence post. And you can see they're kind of round, which I like. Um, and they're just held in. I don't know, the whole thing is held together by a... I drilled out three-eighths holes, or actually one-half holes in everything, and then I have three-eighths hardware to hold it together. There. And then on the four corners, I'll show you inside as well. Uh, all the other stuff, like the two-by-fours, they're just drilled in like that. If I ever take it apart, uh, I'll probably just take off the the sides and then have it in one side a box frame uh, I don't know anyways so as you can see here there is a big bean bag under there and I got some of this here the curtains will go underneath and I actually just put that light in there right there if it'll focus because I was trying to make this video 
five minutes ago and you couldn't see anything under here, which is kind of stupid. But, uh, as you can see, we got, uh, another support beam running across. And that one's on the opposite side of the double support beams, which I used to get up on top of the bed. Uh, I figured that it was sturdy enough that I didn't need to put a bunch of support beams and an X and everything. It seemed pretty uh, stable. But this one's also just drilled in with screws. You can see that the uh, 3 8 hardware sticks all the way through to this side from the other side and they're just nuts and bolts with some washers on every corner same pattern uh, that fans just under here to cool me off creepy uh, clown on the far end we have just one uh, cross beam and some people might say that's not enough but uh, I've slept up there and done other activities so uh, it's pretty sturdy I wouldn't say you're falling through. It does make a little bit of noise whenever you're uh, banging, but other than that, it's good to go. Up on top, you can see that the 2x10s are on one end here, and then another end here, then one in the middle. I just put this 2x4 running along the length right on this side because uh, that's where I sleep with my head and my chest and everything, so the sag would be a lot worse if that wasn't there. That side is for my feet, so I figured, eh, huh, I don't need that much support. Uh, that's uh, my newest painting. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty much showed you how to make this thing. Pretty simple. Uh, went to Home Depot. Measured out all my cuts. Everything was in six and seven foot cuts besides the post here. Uh, pretty self explanatory if you just take the time to measure out your bed and everything. Uh, if you're getting this amount of wood from Home Depot, uh, just something to look forward to is. not paying as much. Sorry, I just heard somebody outside. But yeah, they. They cut all this and got confused at the uh, cash register, so it only came up to 150 bucks for all of this. So this whole thing was built for 150 bucks. As you can see, uh, I have these curtains here that just kind of pop down, and then it shuts that side. If I shut off this light, it's very nice in here. Uh, it's kind of my getaway. As you can see, the, the lights up on top here. It's a good addition. I have this desk. Oh, I'm gonna turn on the lights again. I had I drilled in these uh, pieces of wood here, right there too, and right there. They're just kind of a uh, little shelves to hold things. And you know, I'm really happy with the way it came out. That's another piece of art that I did. So, if you have any questions or you want to uh, get the... I actually did a little blueprint, or I guess it's a mock-up of the bed itself. So, if you want to know how to do it and have any questions, just message me on YouTube and I'll get back to you and let you know what to do. I, I use pretty minimal amount of tools, just a, a, a drill, really. Um, that's about it. A really powerful one, one that you plug into the wall, that's what I suggest. But the video is coming to an end, so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.